Well, when, when I was young, a lot, a lot of people in the older the right generation had, had noticed the, um, the, the the difference in out, the difference in output of, of, of in modern entertainment from what it for from what it from what it used to be, and there was um, there, there, there was there was an episode of some mothers do have them where Frank Spencer's wife Betty. Remarked that there was nothing on at the pictures anymore, and and and, and Frank Frank Spencer responded that one of his aunties he 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 he, he to take him in once or twice a week or whatever, and if if she was alive today she'd turn in her grave, all that horror and destruction and things about the devil, the 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 the, the exo sets, <laughs> um, but. Um, I mean, I got I, I got a copy of Hal Halliwell's Halliwell's film and video guide out from the library at Cheshire College, and 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 it said that it it it, it, it was it was it was sort of in the late eighties, and there was there was sort of there was a sort of preface but preface face in it saying that that that, that, that thirty years earlier. Most, but, but most films have, have been passed with use certificates, but um, the, the things have just deteriorated over the years, where, where, where to, to the extent where new films are rarely ever shown, um, and, and new films are rarely ever shown that, 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 that these days, because I think I, I, I think I think new films. That 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 the sort of that the sort of um, felt every uh, every every everyone feels that the younger generation that feels that you films these days there's a sort of thing that, that if 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 you're a parent of if you're a parent of of, of little kiddies if, you, if you've got a toggle or or or, or something or you, you want to take him into the cinema that's a sort of that that's uh, that's for something something you know you, you need to take him. The, 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 you films these days are considered to be just to be um, films for parents of little children to take them into. But um, the Daily we, we, we always used to get the Daily Mail, the, the Daily Mail newspaper when I was a kid. And they, the, 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 the Daily Mail newspaper felt there was a deterioration of modern entertainment too, and they wrote. They wrote various articles decrying the uh, the, 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 the sort of lang the, the deterioration as regards language and sexual content in, in modern films. And um, I've got I've got a vague recollection of of an article published in the Daily Mail newspaper. But so, so, so somebody had written it about the film Grace. And. Um, I can't remember what it was in it, obviously, because it was too long ago, but it it was sort of implying that, I think it, the implications of it were, were that the film, the, the film wasn't as family-friendly as, as what it was generally considered to be. There was something, um, there was something morally subversive about it. And, um... Then, um... Uh, when video, when the the the, 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 the Mary Whitehouse complained about what complained when the when Channel Four came along and Mary Whitehouse was up in arms about about, about the film Scum being shown on Channel Four because the film had been released in 1979 and, and none of the other ch other channels had dared to show it, but Channel Four did, did show it. And when they did show it, she, it, 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 it Mary Whitehouse was, was up in arms about it, and uh, it, it was reported in the Daily Mail newspaper that she that, that she complained about that. Then there was um, there, there was something to remember about about the um, something that something that, uh, somebody, somebody had shown uh, had shown. Uh, that the film American Werewolf in London to 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 a couple of ten year olds on, on video. 
But that 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 I don't think that that isn't illegal. I don't think because because it isn't it isn't illegal. American Werewolf in London is an eighteen now, but I don't think it. I don't. It, it might be it's either an eighteen or a fifteen, but I don't think it's illegal to show it to children. I don't think it's. Um, It, 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 it's it, it's illegal to supply the film to children, but not but not but not actually to show it to them. But um, it, it's been on television anyway. But there, there, there was there was an article published, so, 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 an, art, an article so, 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 so saying that so, so, somebody is showing an X film to a, to a couple of ten year olds. And the British, but 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 board of this somebody who worked for the British Board of Film Censors has said, American Werewolf in London is totally unsuitable for children of this age. It contains considerable violence and strong sex scenes. Well, um, it, it 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 was around about that time that that the 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 the, 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 the Daily Mail newspaper started off this backlash against the. Um, the video, I think, the the video nasties. I'm not is it entirely sure about this, but I think I think the term video nasties had been coined by Mary Whitehouse. I couldn't be entirely sure about that. I'm going to put a bit more information about all this in the um, description below. Um. Um, the, uh, they had an extensive campaign against these um, films that they were trying to get. They were trying to get them prosecuted under the obscene publications that were being too violent. And the, 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 the Daily Mail newspaper led, led this led launched this campaign. It, the campaign was bad Mercedes videos. Well, they, 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 they did think these videos were statistic. I mean, when, 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 when we were under lockdown, there weren't many, any, 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 there weren't any more films being produced because, because all, all, the, all the actors and actresses and film directors and what have you had to, had to stop work because we were under lockdown. And um, my, my local cinema showed showed a few old films and but one of the but one of the, the film the, the old films that he showed was um nightmare on elm street and this 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 they showed this film with it with its 18 certificate which it had at the time and they, but they put they put a brief this they, they, they show the rating of the film and the and the they put they put a brief summary of why the film has been given that rating and um, they, they, they actually mentioned that it, that it contains sadistic violence. But 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 the thing is, Nightmare on Elm Street has had its rating lowered from an eighteen to a fifteen now. So um, a, a, a fifteen indicates that it's that, it, that it's considered fairly tame. But. Um, this campaign that the Daily Mail newspaper had was was called "Ban the Sadist Videos," and um, they 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 want they want they wanted these these films stopped from 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 being from being you know they want the the local news agents for to stop ban from but 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 ban from renting these films out to people. And they wanted these films banned. And um, the 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 the, 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 the initially reported that the 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 there were there were two films that 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 they were trying to get that they were trying to get banned. Initially, initially, the Driller Killer and Death Trap. And. Um, Uh, but um, 
both I, I think I think both these films were were, were uh, the, 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 the film Jellicoe was definitely prosecuted the obscene, under the obscene publications act, and it was banned for a very long time. But um, I, I think as time I think as time went on, the the. Uh, the the the, the, uh, the, the uh, I think what what happened was the 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 down version of it to the, to the British Board of Film Censors and 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 and, and this the, this version got passed with an eighty certificate and um, I, I, as as time went went on standards became more lenient and and the the, the whole thing has been passed on cut now. You can get, you know, you can get the uncut version of the film, the film with an AT certificate. But uh, uh, as regards Death Trap, I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened to that film. There was there was another film called Death Trap with, with Michael Caine in it, but it was completely different. It wasn't wasn't a horror. <laughs> it was a thriller or something. But um, what? Well, anyway, um, the, 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 the Daily Mail's. The, the Daily Mail's condemnation of the film industry and its output went on well into the 90s. I remember um, Chris, Christopher Tukey was a, was a Daily Mail film critic at one time. And I can distinctly remember it. There, there was this article in, 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 in the middle of a Daily Mail somewhere saying, This appalling amoral film and the question... Should Britain bring back the X certificate? And it was all about it, it was it was like a it was like a condemnation of the film Showgirls. And it was um it it, it, it was all about the history of X films from nineteen fifty one to the present day at that time. And um the, 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 it, it, it was saying the first film to be given an X, an X certificate in Britain was a, like a, was a French film in 1951. As a streetcar and a streetcar named Desire and the Thing from Another World. They were X films from the same year, actually. They but but the first film, the first X film, in, in it was released in Britain was, a, was a, actually a French film. Um, it 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 it, it was um. It was because it because it dealt with it. There was a part of it. The reason why it was given the next certificate was was it was it was a sequence dealing with artificial insemination. But I mean, I mean that that, that I, think, I think that would be considered fairly innocuous by today's standards. But back then it wasn't because it was a different time. You see, but. Um, The, and uh, the, the, there was also another film that the 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 the, 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 the Daily Mail had a big campaign about it. It was a film directed by David David Cronenberg called Crash, and that that was very controversial with the Daily Mail. And the the the, 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 the Daily Mail were trying to get it stopped from being shown. And um, anyway. I'll, I'll, I'll put a bit more information in the description I'll, I'll, on um, I'll, I'll find a bit find a bit more information for you and put it in the description because my, 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 but my memory isn't too good sometime and um, You know, I, I, I can't. I, I, I don't. I don't remember what um, the, the, this campaign that the Daily Mail had against the film cr Crash. What they said about it, but I can find information on it for you anyway. It's all a bit of food for thought. I'm going to do a discussion tomorrow on do, 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 do we still need need film censorship in our modern society.